welcome back to my channel this is Jeannie just wanted to wish all of you a happy new year 2022 uh, just wanted to let you know that I have been pretty busy so I apologize for not having any uh, new videos up um, for a while so today I would like to uh, show you guys how I crochet this water bottle holder okay this is really cute um, you can wear this around your wrist while you're going for a walk running errands but <clears throat> this is the uh, waffle stitch design so it's very easy to make up pretty quickly um, it's very textured as you can see I love it um, I personally like monotone colors you know for designs so I always tend to use solid colors I mean feel free to use whatever uh, yarn you you want any color but I feel like this design looks best in one color but anyways, if you guys are, are interested in learning how I crochet this water bottle holder, then please continue watching. Oh, also I just want to let you know that I will be making a video for the matching beanie as well. Isn't it cute? I love it. It's very cozy, warm, and uh, very textured as you can see. Love it. Anyways, let's continue with the video. For supplies, you will need a ball of yarn. Um, you won't be using the entire thing, obviously, but I'm using the Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Low Pill Fiber yarn, and this is in the color Spice. I love this color. Um, you'll be needing a 5mm uh, crochet hook, H, pair of scissors, one of these uh, tapestry needles, and, um, and uh, tape. Tape measure, sorry. Let's begin. So we're going to be working from the bottom up, so we'll be making the base first. Again, this is for a regular standard size water bottle. But then of course it does stretch so you can use a bigger um, uh, water bottle, you know, if you want to not use plastic bottles. But um, to begin, let's make a magic circle. Okay, let that cross over. Put my uh, hook under and over and grab that yarn and just kind of pinch that. This is the magic circle. Okay, grab your yarn and let's chain two. This chain two does not count as a double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put eight double crochet into the magic circle. Yarn over. There's one double crochet. Two. Three. To make it six. Seven and eight okay now just grab that tail and pull and that will close up the circle here now we're going to slip stitch to the top of the fur sorry about that my camera cut out but we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet all right okay this is what we're beginning with uh, next step is to chain two. Okay, and put du two double crochet into each stitch all the way around. That will equal to 16 double crochet. Uh, the first two uh, chains does not count as a double crochet. Okay, so I'm putting two in the first stitch and then two in the next. For some of you who may not know, um, I have a full-time job as well, so I've been pretty busy with my job. I have um, extra duties. I'm on call a lot of times, so I haven't had the chance to do fun stuff like crochet, making videos for YouTube. So I apologize for the uh, absence there. But 
but um, so far so good for this new year. I hope you guys are also having a good new year as well, staying safe. That should be 16. Let me count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay. That's 16 double crochet and then a slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. All right. That ends round two. To begin round three, chain two. Now we're going to uh, do another row of increase. So what we'll do for this row is one double crochet into the first stitch, okay, and then two double crochet into the next, and then one double crochet into the next, and that's the pattern, and then two double crochet into the next. So if you continue this pattern, you will have a total of 24 double cro crochets all the way around, all right? And I'll meet you back here. Last stitch, uh, I have two double crochet for that one. Makes sense, right? We started out with one double crochet here, finish with two on this side. Slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. And we're done with round three. Okay, this is the base of the bottle. So pretty, I love this color so much. All right, round four, we're going to uh, chain two. And we're gonna be making one double crochet um, into each stitch all the way around in the back loop only. So go ahead and make your first double crochet here, back loop only. Um, if you turn it this way, you see the two loops, right? We're doing the back loop only, the one far further away from you. And just wanted to let you know how that will look. Like for this bottle, back loop only, kind of creates this line. So very pretty. You will have 24 double crochet in the back loop only uh, in this row, okay? Continue round and I'll show you the next uh, steps. Okay, last stitch. All right. Now, Again, slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet, and we're done with this row. Okay, that was row four. Now, I just want to let you know that uh, this is a two-row repeat starting now. Um, pretty simple. Chain two. And we're going to be making a front post double crochet into the, this stitch right here. So we chain two above the initial stitch here, right? we're going to do a front post double crochet in this next one. So yarn over, put your hook under and over like that, and complete your double crochet. All right, now do another crochet, double crochet, but in the regular stitch on top. Okay, so it's gonna be this stitch. Let me show you. Okay, here's your chain two, front post double crochet. Your next double crochet is on the top, regular. Now your next double crochet will be right here, this post. We're gonna make a front post double crochet. Okay, regular double crochet on top. Okay, front post double crochet on the next. And yeah, you just go back and forth like so. 
Again, I mentioned that I love the texture of this uh, stitch. I love it. Yeah, this is how it will start to look, okay? Continue around and I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, I just made my 23rd front post double uh, crochet stitch right here. Last stitch will be a regular one and that would make it 24. The 24th stitch. And then uh, to close this out, slip stitch to the first, to the top of the first uh, double crochet. Okay, that was the first repeating row. Okay, so now the second one would be to chain two. All right, now we're going to make a regular double crochet here in the same stitch. Your chain two from here on, I mean, uh, every, ever since the beginning of this, uh, this does not count as a double crochet, okay? And then the next stitch we're making is the back loop double crochet. So, and we're gonna be making it into this one right here. Okay, so these two are our front posts. This is the back side here, the middle one. We're gonna make a back loop double crochet, back post. And to do that, you yarn over, put your hook behind like that, under, pull up a loop, and complete your double crochet. Okay? Next stitch will be a regular double crochet here in the next stitch. It'll be a regular double crochet on the top of um, front post double crochet that you see at the bottom here. Next one is a back post double crochet into this back, this one right here. Okay, regular one in the next. Next one is the back loop one. As you start to see this, it kind of brings out this right here, this line right here, that kind of makes it look like a, you know, a waffle square. Okay, isn't that cute? So yeah, this is a very easy, simple design. Anyone can do this. And uh, it looks great. It looks, um, it's great as gifts. Back loop, uh, back post. I keep saying back loop. Back post, double crochet. I don't think I've had enough coffee for the day. Alright, I have um, two stitches left, so I just did a uh, back post double crochet. I'm going to do a regular one right here. That's number 23, and then 24 would be a back loop, a uh, back post double crochet, and that closes out this row. Okay, slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet, and we're done. It looks small, but believe me, it does stretch. And it will fit a standard size plastic bottle, water bottle, okay? Now if you want to make this bigger and all, um, I suggest either uh, going uh, up a size or two on the hook size or the beginning chain um, circle, you can, instead of eight double crochets into the circle, you can put nine or ten and then, you know, uh, increase from there, okay? But this is... Know, solely for the standard size water bottle. So the next row we're going to do um, that the same one that we started out with, okay? So chain uh, chain two, we're going to put a front post double crochet in the next stitch here, and then a regular one. Okay, front post again, and then a regular front post. And then regular. Yep, 
that is all to this design. This is the main part of the body. Just continue on with um, the two row repeat as I've shown you so far. I'll have the pattern, um, the written pattern put into the description field so, so you know if you guys are better at reading um, patterns then and you know by all means go ahead and check it out or if you want to visually see how I do it just continue watching just to let you know that we, we are round we are on round number seven right now and basically from rounds 8 through 18 we're going to do the two row repeat okay there you go the next row would be the back uh, post double crochet okay but like I said you will do uh, from round 8 through 18 um, you'll do the two row repeat um, let me move this up or until you see one two three four five six seven seven uh, um, waffle stitches okay and then when we get to this side I'll show you how I crocheted this top part and then of course this handle Okay, for your wrist. I'll be right back. Okay, just wanted to clear something up. It's not uh, through 18, it's through row 17. I'm on row 17 right now. I uh, just completed my front post double crochet there and my, my regular double crochet here and closing this out. Okay, so this is how um, the holder should look so far. Now for row 18 we're going to do a series of uh, single crochets to close this out. So we're going to chain one regular single crochet here in this stitch. We're going to do a back post single crochet in the next. And the regular single crochet. And then back pose, single crochet. I feel like it just completes the uh, waffle look on the top before we do a series of um, single crochets just to uh, do the ribbing. Not ribbing, but you know what I mean, like the, the finished look at the top. So that was a back loop, single crochet, regular single crochet, back loop, regular, I keep saying back loop, I apologize guys, I'm just not all there right now, <laughs> still waking up or something, but it's the back post double crochet, or single crochet. slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet okay that kind of completes that part of the body of the uh, water bottle holder now we're just gonna do regular single crochets so we're going to uh, chain one and just do two rows of the single crochet This is the part right here. So. To complete this, same thing. Slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. So, uh, chain one, and then do another row. 
and then I'll come back and show you how to do the uh, the wrist handle. Okay, slip stitch. All right, I am done with the bottle uh, right now, the body of the bottle. So now we're going to make the handle. So I'm gonna do a chain one, and I'm going to do five single crochet across here. So it's gonna be your preference. Um, I I personally prefer the thicker um, handle like this. So it's up to you. You can uh, do three, four, five, or even bigger six six single crochet rows. Okay. So I mean I'm doing five. Okay, so that's five. Chain one. Chain one and turn your work. And then continue with your five uh, single crochet. So at this point you can do as many rows as you want. I personally um, crocheted it uh, to be about eight inches long and then um, I'll come back and then show you how I um, you know do the finishing touches by sewing it the handle together and, and all that so go ahead and make as many rows as you need for the the wrist handle but like I said for me I personally um, made this as long as about eight inches and then uh, I'll come back and show you how to do the rest I think this is going to be my last row of single crochet all right so here's what I have so far so I'm gonna take my tape measure and yeah this is about eight inches so now what I'm going to do is just cut this, keep a long tail so we can sew this in and go ahead and just tie off. Okay, so this is how everything should be looking so far. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold the handle this way. Oh, and let's grab the needle and thread it. We'll sew this together. So this is how I do mine. Just gonna line it up like so. And then I'm just going to start sewing this in back and forth. Just to make it more secure, just go back and forth again. Yes, isn't this so cute? I love it. Then I'll fold it this way and then go back and forth. Somewhat of the tail. I think I'm about done. All right. 
let's try it out. Here's our standard size water bottle. Oh, and before you do it though, if you want, you can add, you know, a leather tag. So, let's see. Use one of these grommets. Grab a female and a male. And of course I'll link below where I got my leather tags from. It's uh, uh, an account on Etsy. I love her. She, I've already ordered from her several times. But you know, go ahead and place your um, personal leather tag anywhere you want. I'm just going to put my center. Might need to go lower. Okay, I'll take this and snap it close. There you go. Alright, so now it looks small, but like I said, it does stretch. You don't want it too loose. But Here is the new water bottle holder. Give me a second. Okay, this is how it should look. So cute. Here's the second one, and here's an example. Um, I use the same exact pattern, except I use a uh, a five and a half mi millimeter hook instead, and it does make it a little difference in size. So I use the eye hook for this gray one, so it looks a little bit bigger, but I really like the fit of the one with the smaller hook size. Okay. Anyways, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to um, ask below in the comments field. And of course, like I said, I will have the um, written pattern in the description field for you guys as well. I look forward to talking to you in my next video. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.